I love donuts. Straight out of Narawa here in New Zealand. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario's daily vlog number 570. Donuts. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love donuts. I have to say I love donuts. Now, of late, every Saturday, my, my wife, who is on a diet, as am I, we're both watching our weight, but Saturday is, well, she calls it Pig Out Saturday, and it means that she can have anything she likes on Saturday, and then it's back to the diet Sunday. So I've um, been on a largely vegetarian diet, but I I love donuts. <laughs> so whenever she went to the fish and chip shop, I used to get get a couple of these donuts. So they're fried fresh in the deep fat fryer, and then coated with a uh, cinnamon sugar. They're well, they're they're a fish and chip shop donut. Fish and chips, if you want to say it. <laughs> a fish and chip shop donut. They're, they're sort of, yeah, they're a bit different to, you know, what you get from a donut shop, but they're, they're beautiful, lovely. They're from the deep fat fryer, nice and fresh and hot. So uh, she gets me two of those every evening and there's there. But it doesn't stop there because... There's not a huge selection of stuff that at the cafeteria at work that meets with my my diet, which is largely uh, starch a starch based diet with veggies, and so I don't I stay away from oil and butter and dairy and things like that, and I'm lose slowly losing weight very slowly. I've been quite. Um, well, it's slow, but it's progressing downwards, which is good. So it's trending down. It's good. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to make a, a big announcement soon when I maybe reach a particular goal, but I'm just keeping it to myself at this stage. So I also have a cream donuts at uh, the cafeteria. But that's all I have all day is just the one cream donut or a custard donut and they're the they don't have a, a hole in the middle these ones they're a filled a filled donut and uh, they're very nice so they're I guess my little uh, folly oh and occasionally the little bar of chocolate but yes I've I love donuts especially the yeah warm hot donuts love it Love a good donut, me. So, <clears throat> anyway, today I went, I've gone back. I wanted to revitalize things in my uh, vlog. So I've just done, uh, gone back to doing little snippets. Well, I've got a little bit more time today. So I've spent the whole day just um, sort of, well, well, me time, really. So, uh, what you know, stuff I want to do not related to work or employment or things like that so oh well i've done and made a little video of some just some random snippets that i've made during the day so well well let's have a look see what happens <laughs> was that defensive so on my grocery expedition yesterday i bought a glass a bottle of sparkling grape juice and it's like in champagne style so today my wife and I sat out on the deck and sipped sparkling grape juice it was very nice we must do it again the rhododendrons in flower now cropping a little bed of blanket of white Rhododendron flowers onto the grass. It's a great little spot that for photo. Been doing a bit of work on that fallen tree there. Had the the chainsaw out and uh, yeah, cutting it down slowly, a little bit here and there, little by little, little bit by bit. 
Oh, good. Uh, very disappointed with my lawns, actually. I mowed them four oh, two days ago, and of course the daisies have all come back. They're looking like they haven't. They're neglected. Very worried about that. Just, uh, I really need to pimp my lawns. So that was um, some little snippets from my day there. And uh, yes, I'll just uh, get back to the diary here. So um, yeah, I did a little bit of work around the yard, uh, cleaning up something. I think I might have done a little bit of a video of that quite some time ago. It's been just sitting there and I've been mowing around it, a tree that fell down. So I've just uh, cut it up a little bit and moved it out of the way and done a little bit of mowing and what have you so it's a little bit of progress but uh, not as much as I'd like but progress nonetheless so I spent a couple of hours on that all in all with my other little bits and pieces and stopped for little rests and what have you so that was very good and that came in at 3610 steps oh, very similar to the day before it would appear uh, <laughs> I don't know whether that's coincidence or I've just screwed up, but anyway. Oh well, we could have a, just have a quick look here. I've got it here, I might even... Oh yes, 3620. Oh, well, there's 10 more there last time I looked. Oh, we might as, well, might as well grab them while they're on offer. 20, there you go, that's better. Okay, and uh, 570 Donuts. Where, what, who, number 198, aware, and it's gone. It was gone. It was a building um, shaped like a cactus. And uh, Moz just put in cactus building, and he found out that this building was in uh, Qatar. So I chose Qatar because it was the only country in the world that starts with Q. So I've got a list of countries in the world, and then I thought, well, I wonder what, wonder what there. So I thought, I wonder if there's any starting with Q. And it was the only one. And uh, note, there's no U, it's Q-A-T-A-R as well. Just like Qantas has no U after the Q. So, uh, yes. So that's all done and dusted. And, well, nothing else much on the uh, video work comment front. Just a pretty, um, yeah, just a nice day around home. It was pretty good weather. And a few little snippets and what have you. And a nice little uh, glass of wine on the deck with my wife. Uh, not wine, um, a sparkling grape juice and, and what have you. So, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. And here's today's uh, challenge. And I thought, well, the topic's donuts. We could have a, a question about donuts. And, well... There's lots of information about donuts, but I thought it was quite hard to make a question. But the question is, listen carefully, uh, the donut was introduced, said to be introduced to America by people uh, from a particular country. And they had a, a different name for the donut. Um, obviously, a name in their own uh, their own lingo or language, and it's a name that means oily cake. So the answer the answer to today's question is what uh, what people introduced the donut are said to introduce the donut to America, and what did they call it? That's today's question, and well, with that's the question, put the answer in the comments below the video. Now, yesterday we had a question as well, a question, and it was um, regarding this interview, who are the two protagonists, I think is the word that you can use, in this interview, and uh, well, it's um, on the, uh, well, my left is Michael Parkinson, and on my right, of course, is the inimitable Muhammad Ali, the world champion, bo world boxing champion. 
uh, from a few years ago. I'm so fast, I can turn the light off and get into bed before it gets dark. <laughs> Ali, Muhammad Ali. Uh, a man from my, I can remember listening to his fights on the radio um, at various times and places and locations. He was the man um, when I was uh, a young, younger, a young man. Muhammad Ali, perhaps the greatest boxer the world has ever seen by some. Now, Moz got the answer to that and had some um, quite a lot of detail around that. And this was apparently Parkinson and Ali had four <coughs> um, four interviews, and this is the first one pictured here. And Moz has provided a link um to the uh, interviews or to a little a little link to some information on the interviews between Parkinson and Ali and uh, I watched it very very well worth watching so there you go that brings us uh, to the end of today's vlog on donuts everyone's favorite everyone loves donuts don't they gotta love a donut uh, so yeah, that's it. So thanks everybody for well, like well liking, subscribing, commenting, asking questions, feedback, all these wonderful things that you do to support me and my channel. Keep me well, keep me interested, and uh, I just love it. So thank you, and well, we'll see you again tomorrow. Smash that like button. Folks. Smash that. Yeah, not all that. I think that went alright. So we'll uh, upload that and, uh, yep, see how we go.